So, uh, Sam, is it true that Yahweh ordered an army to murder babies? Well, yeah, it's true that Allah, in chapter 2, verse 246 to 252, in chapter 5 of your Quran, 20 to 26, Allah ordered that Musa, alayhi salam, slaughter babies. It's also true. Show me, show me, show me. Chapter read the verse. Five, Surat al-Maida. Read, read the verse. Read Surat the verse. Surat al-Maida. Stop barking. Take it easy. Surat al 520 to 26. There your alpha said that he told Musa to tell the Israelites to enter into the promised land, Canaan. But they're afraid because of the giant. That means your Allah confirms he sent Joshua into the land to slaughter cattle and babies. Where does it where does it say that in the verse? So where does it say in the Quran 52026 that that war that was carried out against the Amalekites was from Allah? Does it say it there? So that then my okay, okay, so so you're 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 changing the topic no, from a moral you're discussion to no. They brought so up the, they, they brought the up the very the thing from the Bible. I got it on the screen. Show me the word baby okay, in the verse. Oh, okay, so this here we go with the word expectation, which is not even you don't even hold yeah. to that. Okay, now uh, Stone Looker, let me ask you another question. Exactly. Exactly. Well, wait, wait. So your Bible, Allah flooded the people of Noah. Did he drown babies? That's God doing that, not yeah, so an army. Your Allah can't <laughs> drown babies. That's, that's not. That's, oh, that's not, God that's doing not it, like not an army doing it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. And yeah. another question. Argument. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. That's okay. not me going. That's all the way you go. Your, own, your own God drowned babies in the flood, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's God doing it. That's yeah. not yeah. an so army. You're Allah can murder babies. I would just like to share some studies that prove that the. Torah we have now is not the same as the Torah we used to have. Okay, hadiths that are going to prove the Torah is corrupted. Here we go. No, he can't. He, you're, don't please. No, don't save Hold on. Listen to me. Please okay. don't make the huh? mistake. Are you listening? You want to talk over? Please don't make the mistake of misquoting the hadith from Bukhari of Ibn Abbas. Are you going to make that stupid? No, mistake? no, it's not in Bukhari. It's not in Bukhari. Okay. This is in, uh, in Al A little louder. Book of Albani. Wait, wait. You're going to give me who? Albani. He's he's referring to Sheikh Al Albani. He was an Albanian Sheikh of the 20th century. So that's the hadith he's going to quote you from some guy from the 20th century. The sons, the sons of Israel, wrote a book and uh, left the Torah. Yeah, you just okay. embarrassed yourself. Did you guys hear it? Can I address your hadith that now it's going to bury you? I'm going to do your janaza. Guys, okay. did you hear what he said? Okay. okay. The sons of Israel yeah, yeah. wrote a book. Wrote a book, left the Torah. Now, number one. That's the sons of Israel. But I know you're not too bright. The Torah was also in the hands of the Christians and they didn't change it. So even if I agree with you, all you're proving is that some Jews corrupted the Torah, but the Torah was also with the Christians and your prophet didn't say the Christians corrupted the Torah. So this Torah is still preserved. Secondly, he didn't say they changed the Torah. He said they left the Torah for another book. How can they leave the Torah if they don't know what the Torah is? Yeah, I've heard you make that argument too on another... Uh... Yeah. Another uh, argument that you have with somebody else. Do you want to make your second point? Yeah. Can the genius tell me how can they abandon the Torah if they didn't have it? Okay. Yeah. At a certain point, they did have it and they lost it. Oh, they lost it. Yes. They lost it. Oh. Yes, they did. That's why in Sunan Abu Dawud, I'm now going to use Al Albani against you. You mentioned Al Albani, right? Sunan Abu Dawud, okay. number 4434. And I'll get you the link, Jay. Al Albani says, Hassan, can I finish the point? You want to bar Quran again? In Sunan Abu Dawud, Classified as Hassan by Sheikh El Elbani, your prophet said to the Jews, Bring me the Torah. They brought the Torah. He put it on the cushion, their Torah, and he said, I believe in you and him who sent you. How did they no, lose Habibi, no, no, no. the Torah? This How did they wait, lose wait. the Torah if they brought the Torah to your okay. prophet? The whole hadith is Hassan, but this part only is Daif. No, it's Hassan. Uh, I'm going to call yes, you. Yes, yes. No, no, no. Okay, I'm going to get you the hadith, no. Jay. Don't let him run. I want to know. I know this. Okay. I know this. A, a group of Jews came and invited the messenger of Allah to Kuf. So he visited them in their school. They said, uh, Abul Qasim, one of our men, has committed fornication with a woman. So pronounced judgment upon them. They placed a cushion for the messenger of Allah who sat on it and said, Bring the Torah. It was then brought. He then withdrew the cushion beneath him and placed the Torah on it, saying, I believe thee and in him who revealed thee. Then he said, bring me one who is learned among you. The young man was brought. The transmitter then mentioned the rest of this tradition of stoning similar to the one transmitted by Malik from Nafi. It says Hassan. Hassan, that means good. Now, did you hear him, Jay? Because then you can engage him logically. He said they lost the Torah, right? That's what he said. Right. 
what what Torah then did they bring if it was lost? El Al Albani is the only one who. Um, no, you're lying. Gave this great pattern. Yes, That's a lie. Yes. Ibn Qayyim uh, al Jawziya said that there was a group of ulama that cited this hadith as proof that the Torah has not been changed. Why are you lying? Let me get you that article. The guy just lied. He said, El Albani is the only one who said Hassan. But Jay, did you hear earlier? Who did he quote? El Albani, right? Mm -hmm. But now all of a sudden, El Albani is not good enough when it says it's Hassan. Yeah. And you'll see Abu Dawud. Now, for the context, here Ibn Qayyim is saying, there's a group of scholars that said that the Torah has never been corrupted. You know yeah. who he mentions? Let me tell the people because the Muslims are going to know who these are. He mentions Imam al-Bukhari. Al-Bukhari, the collector of the Hadith of Bukhari, he's one of those that Ibn Qayyim says, believe that none of the books of Allah can be corrupted. The Torah and the Gospel have never been corrupted. And right. then he quotes Abu Dawood, this Hadith. What does it say, if you can read it? A group of Jewish people invited the messenger to uh, of Allah to the house. When they came, they asked him, O oh, Abu Qasim, one of our men committed adultery with a woman. What is your judgment against him? So they placed a pillow and asked the messenger of Allah to sit on it. The messenger of Allah proceeded to say, bring me the Torah. When they brought it, he removed the pillow from underneath him and placed the Torah on it and said, I believe in you and the one who revealed you. And then he said, bring me one of you who have the most knowledge. So they brought him a young man who told him the story of the stoning. And then I'll notice what it says right after that. What did they say? The scholar said, if the Torah was corrupted, he would not have placed it on the pillow and he would not have said, I believed in you and the one who revealed you. Scholars, plural, who accepted this narration as authentic and as proof that the Torah is not corrupt. Why is he lying? Well, it seems to change based on what they need at the time. <laughs> the arguments seem to change based on what they need to do at the time. Amazing. Okay, now tell me about the Quran. Is it uncreated or created? Yo, Jay, I mean, is there any way that I can talk to you one on one? Yes, is there any way that I can talk to you one on one? Is it uncreated or created? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not here to debate Islam. Yeah, yeah you are. I, I, what are you talking about? You're talking. You're calling the Trinity into question. <laughs> of course you are. Yeah, I, I'm no, trying I'm to understand created, you, buddy. dude. That's that's it. I, no, I, I don't. I'm created, I don't want to talk created. to him. Is there well, any way to what's wrong with okay? Well, do you want me to ask you Sam's question? Ask him a question for me. How about I just ask you Sam's question then? Oh, I mean, yeah, go ahead. I'm really not interested in that, right? <laughs> Why not? Yeah. I mean, it's the same principle. Exactly. Is Allah one or many? So, Jay, ask for ask on my behalf. You'll be my agent. Is the Quran <laughs> created or uncreated? See if he's going to answer. Can you do that for this me? Is so, this is so silly. He's right here. You can hear what Sam's saying. Come on, man. What, what do Hello, you yeah, think? I'm, not, I'm not talking to Sam. All right. Jay, do you have oh, someone else okay. that wants to engage us? Because he's not he's, he's not scared. Uh, well, Dr. Khalil's here. Let's see what Dr. Khalil says. Oh, he's, he's this guy's a beast. I like this guy. Is he here? Or is yeah, that... look, I just hey, want to say to, to I'm waiting right, for guys. your notes. Are you going to send me your notes? I, I'm still still getting things together, but I had a comment for RJ. So RJ, you you just you can't go attacking their theology when you don't have your own together. I love you, man. You're just hypocritical. I love like you. if you if you believe that God's attributes are uncreated, eternal, and they're not identical to God, and they're not other than God, you can't go attacking a Trinitarian for believing something very similar about his divine persons. I mean, you can't do that. 